This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, February the 19th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Satellite image this morning is a little bit misleading as we look at the infrared picture. We do see some clouds, some low clouds over uh, the northeast and east central part of the state of Alabama. Uh, but the rest of the area looks clear, but actually it's not because there's a good deal of fog going on. Surface map features uh, high pressure over the area this morning, and with that little bit of rain we had and uh, moisture in the ground, lots of uh, fog, and we have dense fog advisories in effect for much of the area. The upper trough that was over Missouri yesterday, that closed low, has now moved uh, over to the Carolinas and will be moving off the coast later today. So we come under a bit of a ridge and stay fairly warm. And it's pretty warm across the whole United States this morning as we look at temperatures. Very few of the areas in blue are the areas uh, at or below freezing, so very few of those. You can see on the surface map over the southeastern U.S. that we do have a lot of fog symbols there. Those are those double and triple lines just to the left of the station symbol. And definitely fog advisories in effect. If you have plans that are taking you out early this morning, you definitely want to take that into account and allow a little extra time. As a matter of fact, there's a good deal of fog advisories over a lot of the lower Mississippi River Valley uh, and even parts of uh, Kansas. Over in the western part of the U.S., the watch warning map features uh, the green areas or flash flood watches and or warnings. And then the purple and sort of uh, reddish areas are winter weather advisories. QPF-wise, uh, yesterday we were looking at perhaps a half to three quarters of an inch rain. But this morning, it looks like the uh, likelihood of rain with this system is going to be a little bit down. So it looks like uh, we're going to have rain probably in the Tuesday, or, uh, late Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. And then again uh, on Friday. Uh, and this goes uh, through Friday morning, so it really only impacts the uh, Tuesday event. Storm Prediction Center out looking a slight risk over parts of uh, Texas, uh, north central Texas, for day one. And then for day two, uh, ahead of the front, we have uh, thunderstorms across basically the uh, entire length of the U.S. from the western Great Lakes all the way to the northwestern Gulf. And then on day three, there's only a... Uh, a uh, couple of areas of thunderstorms, one over Louisiana and one over uh, the uh, western central coast of the U.S. All right, the 06 GFS model run this morning, and there goes that trough, and here comes a fairly beefed-up ridge that's going to allow temperatures uh, with a large high-pressure system over the area. It's going to allow temperatures to climb well into the 70s. Looks like lower and mid-70s for most locations today after that fog burns off. The ridge stays with us on Monday, so another great day on Monday as uh, that big trough to our west uh, begins to uh, move our direction and we see uh, a, a surface low just uh, outside of the U.S. boundary in south-central Canada with a cold front trailing all the way down uh, from uh, the western Great Lakes area all the way down into the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. Tuesday, uh, that system begins to um, move out and shear out. You see the northern portion is moving faster than the southern portion. So what's happening is that it's, it's basically uh, shearing out. And as it does, that southern portion is going to dive into the Gulf of Mexico and the, the northern portion just heads on uh, to the east further. So what that means is uh, it looks like uh, it could be a little bit of a reduction in the showers that we expect on uh, late Tuesday and into Wednesday and the uh, the GFS is suggesting that. The the European, on the other hand, is a little bit more bullish on the rain. And um, I guess I'm, I don't know if it's forecasting with the, the European or if it's uh, kind of hopeful forecasting. But I'm hoping that we see more rain because uh, the drought situation still exists, although we're out of both the extreme and exceptional drought, which is very, very good. The uh, two systems move on and separate completely by uh, Wednesday. And so we're coming back under a ridge, so it looks like Wednesday uh, uh, during the day we should see the rain chances diminishing fairly quickly uh, as that system dives into the central gulf and most of the precipitation is down that way. Thursday is kind of an in-between day. We're under a ridge over the eastern uh, third of the country again, but we are watching co uh, coming out of the central Rockies, that trough, and uh, that is uh, going to help to generate a surface low just to the north of Amarillo, Texas. And that surface low is going to move very quickly. The upper uh, system moves very quickly on Friday 
to the uh, edge of the western Great Lakes, but the surface system just boogies fast from Amarillo all the way up to uh, the vicinity of Chicago and southern Lake Michigan, and that trails a front down across the lower Mississippi River Valley. So I think Friday we're going to have a pretty good chance for uh, some rain. But the good news is that system moves by us quickly by Saturday. It's by us, and so the front is out off the southeast coast. Large high pressure centered over uh, kind of the central uh, Mississippi River Valley, bringing us a bit of a northerly flow. And while that is a northerly flow, it's not a real cold northerly flow. So it looks like temperatures should drop over the weekend with uh, highs primarily in the 60s. So that'll feel nice, but it'll be dry. So we can enjoy a wonderful weekend. By Sunday, uh, the ridge uh, is pumping up, beginning to pump up a little bit over the eastern half of the country. So it looks like another great day as the surface high moves off. Uh, to the east. Looking out into voodoo country, the GFS is fairly bullish on a uh, number of systems. We see one coming out around the 27th of uh, February. That should give us some rainy weather, stormy weather perhaps uh, on the 28th of February. And then uh, we get out to around the 2nd of March and another system coming across the Mississippi River Valley that uh, should produce some uh, weather for us once again. And then we get out to the end of the period, and the GFS is uh, somewhat noisy here with a number of uh, little short waves in a rather warmish-looking flow. There's no, certainly no uh, presence of any cold showing up in this sort of pattern. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann should have the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime... John Brown, one of our sky watchers, uh, and I will be talking about storm spotters and storm chasers at the Hoover Library at 3 o'clock today. So if you have an interest and you're in the vicinity, come by, say hello, and uh, take in the presentations. Have a great day. Godspeed.